I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Teddy Bear. Teddy for short. High five. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about overweight rabbits. So rabbits have a tendency to gain weight, <laughs> pet rabbits. So we're going to talk about how you can notice and then what you can do about it. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you never miss any of our weekly videos. And don't forget to check out my funny bunny merch <laughs> at my store. You can get all types of cute rabbit designs. You can get t-shirts, sweatshirts, other types of shirts, mugs, bags, stickers, any kind of thing like that. So feel free to check that out if you like cute rabbit stuff. So we went to the vet just a little bit ago for a checkup and I found out that Ellie is actually a little bit overweight. Just a little bit, just like half a pound that she needs to lose. So I figured I would also take this opportunity to kind of let you guys know what you can do to help your rabbit lose weight when you uh, if you get that uh, diagnosis because it is actually pretty common for rabbits to uh, become overweight. In Ellie's case, it's kind of twofold. I have been giving her a little bit too many treats, so I need to cut back on that. <laughs> um, but also, I think she's been eating some of uh, Teddy's food because I feed them together, so I need to make some changes. I will let you know some ways that you can help your rabbit safely lose weight in ways that you might be able to tell or have an idea even before you go to the vet. In general, when you go to the vet, they're going to feel your rabbit. They'll be feeling around their stomach and feeling on their spine. That's how they're going to really know if your rabbit is overweight or not. Um, because since rabbits come in many different shapes and sizes, there's no like weight, like target weight necessarily that you're gonna know your rabbit needs to be. But if you will feel your rabbit, feel around like their ribs and feel around their spine, if you can easily touch them, that's good that's what you want um you don't want it to be like a layer of fat in between their ribs you don't want it to be too difficult to touch their their spine you do want to be able to touch them easily without having to move a bunch of fat out of the way so their ribs their spine and their hips are going to be the three areas that you mainly want to just uh, feel a little bit and make sure that you can easily touch them easily feel those bones other visual indicators that might be helpful include looking at their head compared to the rest of their body so if their head looks a little bit small compared to the rest of their body that's a good indicator that maybe your rabbit needs to lose some weight also looking for a waistline if it looks like your rabbit doesn't have go in at all it's just goes out <laughs> then that's an indication that your rabbit's a little overweight. These indicators are a little bit more difficult to tell by though because rabbits have a lot of fur and all that fluff can end up, you know, making rabbit look bigger than they actually are. That was actually one thing when I went to the vet, when she first saw Ellie, she thought she was quite overweight, but then she was feeling her. And she was like, actually, no, it's just a little bit. Uh, it's just there's all that fluff in the way. So that's also something that you should consider when you're worried that your rabbit might be overweight. Sometimes they really are just that fluffy. <laughs> Other indicators would be if your rabbit's dewlap and is starting to get a lot bigger. Generally, once your rabbit reaches maturity, they're not their dewlap isn't going to get a lot bigger unless they either get pregnant or they're gaining weight. So if you notice that there seems to be a very large increase in size there, um, the dewlap is that flap of skin that's underneath uh, their chin. Um, and this is female rabbits mostly. Um, if your male rabbit is starting to develop a dewlap, then um, that means that they are probably a little overweight because generally male rabbits don't. <laughs> and then another thing that you might notice is rabbits that start to gain weight will start to get sores on like the heel of their foot. And then you notice a little bit of redness or inflammation there. And then that's an indication that maybe they're having too much weight on their feet. So that's causing those sores. This can also be caused by like improper flooring. Like if you have a rabbit housed on a, um, a wire flooring, that can also be another cause of sore hawk. It's not just weight, but that is definitely a factor. There are these visual indicators, but like me, I knew what they were and I still didn't catch that she was getting a little bit overweight. The best way to really catch that your rabbit is really starting to gain weight is to go to an annual vet exam so that your vet can, you know, look at them and be like, okay, actually, 
they need to lose some weight here and they can catch that before it gets serious. If you go every year, they'll know approximately what weight you should, you know, be targeting and then they can give you some advice to help make sure that you can help your rabbit lose weight safely. There are some simple things you can do to help them lose weight. Uh, one is, of course, cut back on the treats. So I was, I'm definitely guilty of giving my bunnies a little too many treats, so I need to cut back on that. So what I've been doing with uh, the tricks that I'll do is I'll um, give them pellets instead of treats. So my rabbits absolutely love their pellets, so I can reduce the amount of pellets that I give them as like their breakfast and use the, the rest of it as treats instead of using extra treats to give them. So that's one thing that I am doing is just cutting out the treats or mostly cutting out the treats. Maybe like once or twice a week at this point, I'm giving them an extra treat, but uh, mostly I'm just using their pellets at this point. But then the other thing that you want to do is make sure you reduce pellets, make sure that you're giving them a healthy amount. For most rabbits, this is going to be a quarter cup. Um, you do want to make sure that you take your own rabbit's metabolism into account. So some rabbits will have a slower metabolism and even if um, you're giving them the correct amount, they're still gaining weight, you might need to reduce it a little bit more just based on your rabbit's individual needs. For a basic rule of thumb guideline, a quarter cup of pellets a day is a good starting point, but if you want uh, more specific measurements, I do have a video going into uh, my diet the rabbit diet, rabbit diet 101, that you can check out that has more specifics based on the exact weight of your rabbit. Now for me, since I think part of the problem is that Ellie is eating some of Teddy's pellets, <laughs> um, what I did actually is I started feeding them twice a day instead of once a day. So the problem is uh, Teddy, he will eat his pellets and then he'll get to a point where he's satisfied and he'll stop eating. This meant once I was feeding them together, when he was done for the moment, he would just be done, but Ellie would keep eating. So I'm pretty sure she ends up eating more than he does. So what I've done is separate it into, I'll give them half of their pellets in the morning so that uh, Teddy will keep eating his part and then I'll give them half again when Ellie, when Teddy would be hungry again so that uh, it doesn't end up being that Ellie is eating his part. <laughs> And then the other thing, of course, that you want to do is encourage more exercise. So for them, I definitely continue to feed them their pellets in the uh, these blue rolly balls, treat balls. These are officially these are actually meant to help cats lose weight, uh, so that they don't eat so quickly. So you know they do the same thing for rabbits too. They keep your rabbit moving around when they're eating and keep them from gobbling up their pellets too quickly. I've also added a couple like hay stations around the room. I've added them up on platforms that they could hop up onto to get them hopping up and down, get them hopping up on platforms. One of them's right next to the cat tower. One of them is up on top of the hay box. So that this way they'll be uh, moving around, hopping up and down just to, while they're going to eat, gives them a little bit more incentive to move <laughs> so that Ellie will get more exercise. I've been trying to keep the room a little bit cooler, uh, which is a little bit easier as the weather cools down because uh, of course rabbits will be more likely to move around if it's not so hot. So just in general, encouraging your rabbits to exercise, you can give them some more fun toys. Those are the kinds of things that you want to do to help your rabbit lose weight. It's really, you know, basic stuff. Make sure they eat less pellets, eat less treats and move around more. I also want to mention that throughout this all, you never want to limit the hay that you give them. Rabbits basically can't overeat on hay because it they'll eat it. It's one of those things that just goes straight through them. It keeps their digestion moving and it keeps their teeth healthy. So there's no need to ever limit the amount of hay that, they, that you give them. So continue to give them unlimited hay and that's totally okay and that will keep them satisfied so that, you know, now that they're not getting as many pellets or something, they can still eat as much as they want. Uh, it just can't be the high, the high um, calorie pellets. Instead, it'll be the hay that just keeps them healthy and keeps them um, and it can give them something to munch on. <laughs> if you want more quick tips and fun facts about rabbits, I do have a mailing list that you can join. Um, when you first join, you'll also get my free Bunny Basics PDF where I give you all of the basics information about like, caring for a new bunny. It'll be everything from what behaviors to expect, uh, how to litter train a rabbit, um, the correct diet <laughs> so that you don't overfeed them. It'd be all of that. Um, and then you can join my bi-monthly mailing list where I give quick
quick tips about uh, how to make sure that you are taking care of your rabbit as best as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope that we will see you next time.